always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say, he doesn't really do anything. Mission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this world. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. Joy gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Just misses there with the left. Wow. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real quick leg kick. That right hand landed. Big head kick. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Knee to the body. Nice punch by Choi. Takes him down. Down into his mouth. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 
choice. Hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Just out of range with that right hook. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Unable to connect with the right. Right hand punch to the clinch. Battling for hooks. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. He's gonna try to take it down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Choi. Gedalia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, big right hand, yes. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Round two is underway. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Lands with the knee to the bottom. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And he landed the right hand there. Overhand attempt now. It's blocked by Gedalia. Nice kick landed there by Gedalia. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Just over three minutes to go. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, strong punch there by Choi. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. 
Nice kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, huge block! Oh, straight right! Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, man, head kick lands. Gedalia's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these are... Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Nice kick. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well placed kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, that left hand is on point. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Gedalia going for the body kick there, but he misses no setup whatsoever there. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick lands. Got clip with the right hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Trying to stay in this place! Oh, big left. <laughs> Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Checks the leg kick. Back and forth we go. Takedown defense holds up. Back to the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch. Punch, punch to the head from the clinch. 
Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. That was lightning fast, that right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. How about that chin? Single follow time now. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A couple of hammer fists now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. And he lands it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really has... Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Yeah, that right there was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chai. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout.